I hope you had a good clamp day. Silky Gimmaho, and welcome back to Magical Murmurs. April 1st was Clamp Day. I am grateful for the encounters with all Clamp works and characters, and all the people who have connected me here. Today is the event to celebrate, buy goods, and make reservations. I'm sure many of you are busy, but I hope today will be a wonderful day. And in celebration of various Clamp characters' birthday, we see all the magic that was reported. The bonus card showed off during Sakura season, the Tokyo Tower lit up in pink, and other advertisement for Sakura, and the final chapter of Clear Card. Cardcaptor Sakura also announced its collab with Keretas. They will be adding novelty drinks and goods. And here are those drinks and coasters, cards, acrylics, fans, and more. Cardcaptor Sakura is also getting its second wave of shoes with Myla. And now we turn to Sailor Moon. And while on April Fool's Day, it was not a joke. The Sailor Moon theme song could be heard during a Dodgers game. Link with the tweet containing that playback linked down below. Sailor Moon at this time reopening its window for the official fan club, allowing fans to buy exclusive merch throughout the year. The enrollment period will be from Monday, April 1st to Sunday, June 30th. For more details in regards to open enrollment, we recommend the Sailor Moon Fan Network, link in the description below. As well from the Sailor Moon Fan Network, hosted by Ochiba Wolf, we now have Sailor Venus being the final inner to get the next wave of Ocean Bomb. We now have all the inners, we'll stay tuned to see if we end up getting the outers. And for anyone looking to purchase them, details and information and announcements will be consistently updated on the Sailor Moon Fan Network website. And to round off the Sailor Moon news, the final volume of the Naoko Takauchi collection has revealed its cover. This will release September 2024 as the final volume. Wonderful Precure has announced quite a bit of merchandise, as well as we've gotten more information on Kiran Yami in her debut. We've talked about the talking Yuki plush, the secret base that will be released, and cutie figures. If you would like to hear more details about that, we highly recommend Magical Cinnamon with both these videos featured here, link down below. And while also announced on April 1st, it is no fool's joke. Dancing Star Precure has teased that there will be an announcement this coming Friday, the 5th, with brand new information. We'll stay tuned to what that information is. But now we turn to Peach Pit. Say Shonagon to Maoshimas by Peach Pit will be ending in June. And as was previously announced, Peach Pit will be replacing it with the sequel to Shugo Chara this summer in Nakayoshi. Mermaid Melody had these new dancer themed silhouettes from A3 event, which have now been revealed as this original artwork with various canned badges, acrylics, and more as part of this release, running from April 1st to April 22nd. TV anime Ushigi Boshi no Futagohime Village Vanguard Limited Edition goods are now on sale. Acrylic goods and goods using scene using scene photos will be available. Only the Aurora acrylic panel will be available for order. Princess Guinevere and the Jewel Riders Volume 1 Limited Edition is now up for pre-order. Link in the description below. Ruby Volume 9 is now free to watch on the Rooster Teeth website. And with it, for those who have already seen it, is a brand new extended epilogue, storyboarded and voice acted. And today we wrap up news with Miraculous Ladybug. The writing crew has officially finished writing season six of Miraculous Ladybug. And just as a heads up, there will be no magical murmurs next week as we are on vacation, but we'll have a big one for you the week after. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.